Hello, people. Yolande here doing a um, video of a haul. Haul video. And I got these things a couple days ago. So, um, at least a couple of them are open. But the first thing I want to show you is this uh, journal that I got. Um, it's by with Wedderloo. I can't pronounce this. Wurt T O U. Wurt T O. No idea <laughs> what language that is. Um, I I just got it. Uh, today will probably be my first day actually using it. So um, I will do pen tests and paper tests and all this other type of stuff that um that goes with it and i'll do a separate video for that but um it looks nice um i don't know i guess that vegan leather or whatever you want to call it it's what a hundred and okay 160 pages something like that yeah 160 pages i think the um, GSM is 100, um, which is good. You know, I, I like, you know, the higher end GSM just from the fact that um, when I use my fountain pens, it doesn't tend to bleed through. So that's pretty good. But I will do a actual uh, review and, you know, uh, writing sample stuff at a later date for this I just got this so I haven't had a chance to write in it yet okay uh, the next thing I got is a set of um, wax seal stamps and this is another thing that I'm going to demonstrate um, later these are them or at least one one kind um there are what four in total in this package anyway what you do is you pour the uh, sealing wax ink inside of this and then stamp it and then when you lift this off it has smooth edges because when you do it without one of these things the um, wax tends to spread out and sometimes it looks cute and sometimes it doesn't and it's already sealed on the paper so you know you got hot wax on paper and um, you're going to see that there was something there if you pry it off but um, I'm going to give these a try this is one this is another this is another and this is another so yeah like I said I'm gonna try these out and I will do a demonstration video on that later and then the last thing I got is a kind of lacy blouse now I've got to complain about this um I got this blouse thinking like from Amazon, like all this stuff is from Amazon. And I checked it out. I looked at the um, the size chart and everything. You know, they said it was a US 20, which is what I wear. Um, and when I got it, I tried to try it on. I could get my head in. But I couldn't get my arms in. You know. And I guess I should have known that before I even started. Because look how skinny these arms are. But they're 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 not so skinny that, you know, it's, it's unreasonable to think that I could get into it. Because I've got shirts whose sleeves look like this skinny. But um, I'm able to get in them. 
And so I am just a little put out because I, could, I couldn't wear it. It's too small. And I just think that everybody should just stop lying. <laughs> they should just stop lying. You know, I know this stuff comes from China and the people are smaller there. You know, they're thinner and, you know, just not as chunky as Americans are. But if you're going to do something and say that it's an American size, whatever, make it American size, whatever. Because I've been burned so many times buying stuff from from these places that you know from china or asia somewhere and they say it fits you know my size and then when i get it it's too small so i left a review on that you know already on amazon i don't know if they're going to accept it or not but i left a review and i said it is not true to size it is not true to size so you know that's what I'm that's pretty much just what I'm I'm gonna say on that but those were the three things I got um and like I said I'm gonna do um sample videos on the uh, notebook and the wax stamps and see how they go and if you like these type of videos please like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one